Rejoice Ministries Greetings in the most precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, today I would like to share a testimony regarding the war which started some days back and uh, the war which stopped in 11 days. All glory to Jesus. When we came to know that a war has started, uh, the start itself was terrible. So every day we started watching the TV to find out uh, what really was happening because it has great concern for all Christians as Israel is involved in it. This war between Israel and Palestine. We read in the Bible in Psalm 122.6 that we need to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Uh, all these years, many of us, we didn't have a chance to pray for the peace of Jerusalem because it was quite a peaceful land. But now uh, the peace of Jerusalem is uh, getting shattered because of this war. And uh, we believe that if uh, Jerusalem or Israel would get this peace from God, then the whole world will be in peace. So for that good reason, we started uh, praying, fasting prayers. We made as a rule that uh, each one of us should join this prayer from 10 o'clock to 1 p.m. And uh, each one would take a slot of 15 minutes for prayer and we would pray in tongues, that is in spirit. To mean that the Holy Spirit according to Romans chapter 8 verse 26 would intervene and he would pray for us, make an intercessory prayer that he would pray with innumerable groans, would make known of our problem to God Almighty, uh, take some immediate steps to stop the war. So we said uh, this is a great operation and we called it stop war operation and we started sincerely to pray in tongues each one of us taking chances for one or two slots we would take and pray only in tongues and i also remembered god telling me about uh, sri lanka when i was uh, to pray for sri lanka when, when the ethnic fight was going on like i would take a map of sri lanka and uh, uh, just to sprinkle the blood of jesus just uh, drip the one drop likewise on the territory of uh, Sri Lanka and pray for it and also immediately I would plant a flag, a white flag meaning Sri Lanka has received its peace of uh, peace. Uh, the same way God reminded me to pray for Israel and this time I informed everybody in the group that we are all going to imagine and pray as in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 more than you imagine and pray i will abundantly bless you that is the promise god gives god is going to abundantly bless our prayers and he is going to keep up to his promise if we people imagine and pray so i told them to drip uh, the blood of jesus on the territories of israel and also to plant a white flag to mean that the Holy Spirit is bringing peace into this country. The moment we started praying, we continuously prayed for around 8 days only. But uh, great changes have come upon that country. And uh, what war did we waged a war on knees. That is we knelt down and we raised both our hands to heavens and we started praying with tears for the peace of Jerusalem because we understood that this war if it is to continue it is going to become a very dangerous uh, war which we would call as a third world war which nobody wants to have a war and uh, which would really devastate the whole world and uh, if this war was to continue we should also imagine and see how difficult it is going to be our life is going to be very difficult there would come a stage when there would be no food at all where there would be food given only on ration uh, because nothing would grow because of the terrible chemical weapons and all the terrible uh, weapons that they would shoot on us as if we country our country is to be allies with uh, some 
country either palestine or israel uh, likewise many countries will join these two big nations and start fighting and uh, this fight would be never ending we have already got a picture of the first world war as how many years it took to come to an end uh, we have a history of the second world war which has taken years to stop and so if this is going to be a third world war it is again going to be uh, terrible it's going to be a horrible thing so we started having all this in our mind and we would only pray for the peace of jerusalem and all glory to god god stopped it on the 11th day so this we take it as a mighty work of uh, the holy spirit who has intervened and who has taken up our prayers and who has uh, blessed these countries and the peace treaty has been signed and everything is fine we have also asked the people who were was praying to continue in prayers because uh, satan is there as a thief he comes to steal kill and destroy so this is highly satanic that a world war is coming up and uh, we uh, continue to pray that uh, it should not crop up again this war which Uh, looks like it has come to an end should be an end an end is an end but it should not continue so we are continuing to pray and god is a good god he is always uh, helping us to pray and also he is listening to our prayers and he is answering to our prayers so all glory to jesus amen மேலும் எங்களை தொடர்பு கொள்ள ரிஜாய்ஸ் மினிஸ்ட்ரீஸ் இவாஞ்சலிஸ்ட் டாக்டர் டாக்னி ஜோசப் செல் நைன் ஒன் செவன் ஒன் ஒன் ஜீரோ 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 ஒன் ஒன் கர்த்தகாமே உங்கள் ஒவ்வொருவரையும் ஆசிர்வைத்து காப்பாராக ஆமை